Hello and welcome to How To's. This is the first How To video that I'm going to do. Um, hopefully, if this turns out good, we'll do a couple more or start something. Um, so, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get uh, Pandora on your desktop. Now, Pandora is an online application where you can listen to to songs, pretty much any kind of songs you want. It's by genre, it's not by individual songs, so you type in the genre and it'll pull up that kind of song, pretty much. Um, works really nice, I use it. Um, I use it all the time whenever I want to listen to music, that's what I use. Um, you can add a bunch of different stations and randomize through them, which is really nice. And normally you'd have to do that all online, with the web browser open. Well, in this video I'm going to show you how to put it on your desktop if you have Windows Vista or Windows 7. Um, I don't think this works for XP because XP doesn't have sidebar and this needs sidebar. So, let's get started. First of all, let's go down here to your uh, to your web browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome and uh, I'm going to put this link in the description, but this is the link. You click on it, and it'll just bring you right down here. It'll start downloading it. If you have Internet Explorer, it'll pop up. You just click Save or uh, Run, and uh, go ahead from that. And then once you get this, you click on it. I'm using Chrome, so I just click on it, click Install. Now I've already have it installed, but it'll probably bring you through a couple other things that you have to do. And that's gonna go ahead and start playing the song right there. I'm gonna pause that. So now you see your widget here this is I'm in Windows 7 right now and it brings up your widget and for someone who wouldn't have um, who who doesn't have an account it's gonna pop up actually let me see if I can log out here and show you yes okay so it'll pop up something like as soon as it loads it'll pop up like this alright and then you'll click on I'm new to Pandora type in your email password zip code gender sign up stuff like that. I'm gonna hit cancel because I already have an account and I'm gonna log in and I'll be right back as soon as I log in here alright so I just input my information and now it pops up and yes Justin Bieber yeah <laughs> my sister also uses this I know it's always the excuse but she seriously does because she also has Windows 7 and she uses it on her computer yeah I could get her another account but eh, it's just laziness alright so now You've logged in and you probably don't have any stations, so you can click on station, type in, say I want to listen to Dead Mouse type of music. Yeah, Dead Mouse, and there you go. You click on that and it'll play genres like Dead Mouse. It won't always play Dead Mouse music. It could play some other type of music, but it's all the same genre. You get the point. You can thumbs up, thumbs down. If you thumbs up, it'll play more of this song. If you thumbs down, it'll kind of stay away from that a bit. You can forward. I think you can forward as many times as you want. That's what I love about Pandora. You can change the volume right here. And uh, start and go. That's pretty much it. Um, if you want, if you have more uh, stations, you can hit Quick Mix. And it'll run through all them stations, randomized. And it's just a really cool feature to have. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Also comment. I forgot that one. Have a good day, guys.